G'day guys, this is Outback Trekking, and in this episode of the GQ build, we're putting this bonnet protector on the old girl to cover up some ugly dents and give her a new look. Let's get to it. Righto, so for this bonnet protector and weather shields, I've opted for OCAM 4x4 accessories. I think that's how you pronounce it, OCAM. Um, I bought these online. The reason I went with them is it comes with the weather shields for the wagon, and bonnet protector, instructions, and everything you need to assemble it. And also this bonnet protector is the wider one that covers more, more of a surface, like lengthways on the bonnet because it's got a few ugly dents on there and we want to kind of cover them up so we don't have to do any cosmetics. So yeah, um, should be pretty straightforward. Drill a few holes and everything and bonnet protector should go on. And I'll show you how to do that. Right, so basically what you want to do is you want to get your bonnet protector out of the packaging. Have a little squeeze at the instructions so you know what to do. You want to sit it on your bonnet, tuck it in as how it would sit. And you want to um, make sure it's even on the bonnet. So mine overlaps probably about 10 mil at the bottom each side, and that's how we're going to do it. So you want to need, want to get a texter or something. Bay bladers. You want to lift the bonnet up. Making sure you don't move the bonnet protector. You want to mark in there where the hole is with the texture or something. So you know where to drill. These holes are slotted so you can move it side to side if you do get it a bit wrong. But it's nice to get it right in the first time. We'll put it down and move on to the next step. Right, so for this next step of drilling the holes you want to take the bonnet protector off, put it sitting over there and you want to need a drill get some drill bit, preferably ones that go up to the size of 8mm so that's what you're going to need now I'm going to pre-drill mine with a 4mm drill bit just so it makes the drilling a little bit easier on the 8mm and so when I am drilling it doesn't punch through the bonnet like I've seen some people do so we'll get to that and drill these holes in the centre of that crossways solid hole Four mil burn. Do this eight mil. Now the reason you want eight mil is because there's a little lock nut thing that goes up in there, and that's what the instructions tell you to do, tell you to do. So you want to use that eight mil drill bit. Cool. this off and we're going to clean it. Right, I'll send you a little baggie, you get a little alcohol wipe and use this little alcohol pad to wipe everything down so it's clean and those sticky pads we're going to put on later will stick. So, let's put the bonnet down. It's a bit filthy under there. We're going to clean her off. Gonna clean around those holes and just under that lip. Now we're gonna get our bonnet protector, put it back on. Slide 
just so she's nice and even again on your holes that you've just drilled. And we'll get our little kit here they give us. Now, those we'll use later, or soon. Same with those. What you want to get is the bolts, the washers, and the, cylind the cylinder looking things. So, you want to get two of those bolts, two of these washers, and two of these, which are like little self tapping self tapping nut sort of things if you can see that which you put them in the bonnet and you put your, your nut in not your nut sorry your, your bolt and up here it expands so it can't come out until you take this out which is good so I'm just gonna get a screwdriver Right, so you want to get a suitable screwdriver that fits your bolt. You want to get one of these, one of your bolts, and one of your washers. And I'll do this first one up over here. So what you want to do is, I'm just going to slide this back so I can see the hole. Get your little self-tapping thing. Push it up in there. Slide the bonnet protector over it. Make sure it's central. Get your washer, put it on your bolt, and thread it through. And you want to get your screwdriver. And wind them in. And I'm not going to do them all the way up because we're going to do the other one. And so it's center, center on the bonnet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to check it is centre on the bonnet. I don't think it is at the moment. Push that one up. I'm using my hole for a while. Oh, a bit more. And that seems to be central. So we're going to tighten this bad boy up. Next step is you want to get your little chunky pieces out. These are for these holes in the corner here. Um, right, I just dropped you there for a minute and realised you, know you can't actually see me doing this. So, I'm just going to put this in. Alright, that one's in there nice and tight. That's how you want to do it. So basically, button on top, bonnet protector, your little plastic bit abrasive tape thing or non abrasive tape little metal thing and your screw so that's how you put that in I'll show you the other side so we're getting our tape gonna peel him off that one was easier than the other one find our hole put that under there get your little block screwdrivers, unscrew it, get your screwdriver, shove it under the button, lift it up, and got the button. So, then what you want to do, you want to shove the block under the bonnet protector, the button, line up with the hole, push it down, and that locks that in place. Then you want to get the screw, the little stainless steel leg, screw in the hole, and screw it in there. Boom, Bob's your uncle. Now, basically done, you just want to make sure it shuts before we do the last step. Cool, shuts. Next step is, in your little baggie of things, which is empty, you get these little things, little anti-vibration pads. So 
You want to look under your bonnet, under your bonnet protector, at where it actually hits the bonnet. You don't want it rubbing on that. And wherever it touches, you want to put one of these little things under there, just so it doesn't vibrate on the bonnet and rub the paint off. So, I'm going to put some in the middle, and one on the side, where it sits up a bit. We'll get to that. Lift it up, place it down, push it in, and now it doesn't rub there. And that is how you do the bonnet protector on your GQ Patrol, or 60 series, or whatever you want to put it on. Basically the same process. Drill a hole, screw some things in, lock it in, anti-vibration pads, and you're all set. Let's have a look. So we just finished putting on this bonnet protector, which I think looks pretty awesome. Next step is to put the weather shields on, which go on the front and side windows. So all you'll need is the weather shields and a rag or something to wipe down the sills. I'm just going to use some baby wipes and that will do it for me. So let's get to that and put these bad boys on. Right, so these weather shields are for the front passenger window, driver's window, and then the rear passenger windows on both passenger and driver's side. So what you want to do first up is you want to get something to clean with. I've got my baby wipes here, just because I didn't have a rag with soap. Now what you want to do is you want to clean around the top of the window sill here and down the sides, because that's where it's going to sit and do that on the other side and the back windows too so I'll do that quickly and then we can start sticking them on righto so I've just sorted out quickly which um, weather shields are for which side so these are for the passenger side and those are for the driver's side just so I don't mix them up and completely fail so I'm going to start with this rear window here we're going to do that one so what we're going to do is we're going to unwrap this line it up with this and then stick it on it should be pretty easy right i so said this is our rear weather shield and as you can see it's got the sticky back i don't know if you can see that but sticky red back there you've got to peel that off and then the sticky's under that but before we do that we've cleaned our window sill and we're gonna just line it up just to see where it will go and just to double check and make sure that it actually fits this window and it's not for the other side. Looking at that, it looks like it fits this window. Now by doing this and double checking, you can also see where the tape is going to go and how you're going to align it on the window. So we're going to peel this red backing off and we'll stick it on there. Now I'm doing these back ones before the front ones because these ones are easier to do. And once I put these on, I can sort of use them as an eye guide, eye guide to put on the front one. So look at where you were looking before. <coughs> nice and straight. Press it on. Good. Do the front one now. I reckon that looks pretty good. Nice sleek black. Cool. One more side to go and we're done.
Alright guys, that is it for the video. I'm so happy with how these turned out from OCAM 4x4. Loving the weather shields, loving the bonnet protector. I think it goes so well with the white paint. It's nice to have something new on this old girl. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of the GQ build. Catch